Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to talk about a new challenge we're going to start doing. Wow, <laughs> Starting August 2nd, this coming Monday, we're going to start doing a challenge. Well, I'm going to do a challenge. Hopefully you guys join along. Uh, learning Spanish in 15 days, or at least trying to learn as much as possible. These videos aren't going to overtake my normal videos that I do on the channel. So don't worry, we'll probably some days we'll have two videos up at the same time. But this is going to be kind of its own thing on the side. The goal of this channel is to see how much Spanish I can really learn in 15 days. And if the way that I'm going to do it is even effective. The ways that I've decided to do this challenge, I've done a lot of research on how other people have learned languages quickly, efficiently, fast. You, you see a lot of these channels where they learn how to speak a language in like a week or two weeks. So I've taken a lot of this into account and I'm going to see what I can actually do in 15 days. So the plan is going to be addressing reading, uh, speaking, listening, and vocabulary in these 15 days of learning. The programs that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using Nemo Spanish. I'm gonna be using all these basic Spanish conversation for the reading and vocabulary building. And finally, for the speaking and listening, I'm gonna be using Pimslers, but we're only gonna go through level one, lesson one through 15, so one a day. And again, the focus is gonna be reading, vocabulary, speaking, and listening in these 15 days. So I am using a book by Ollie, which he kinda, he has this program where he, you learn another language by reading, which builds your vocabulary and understanding. But this book was always recommended to me. Let me know in the comments below, which book do you prefer? Have you used Ollie's book? Have you used this book before? I don't wanna use both because I think it'll be very conflicting or at least a little too much for the, the challenge that we're doing on this. So let me know in the comments if you've used this and what do you think about it. So the plan is to spend 30 minutes each day on each of the programs. So Nemo for 30 minutes, Pimslers for 30 minutes, and then actual reading for 30 minutes. So a total of 90 minutes a day is what my videos are going to cover when we do the actual review and all the time that I'm going to allot myself to do this. So I'm not going to use any more than 90 minutes a day. So I just want to talk about what actually worked for me in these 90 minutes, what was kind of a waste of time, what, what really just didn't work. Because the idea of this is how much can we actually learn in 15 days and what is the most effective. So Spanish is a new language for me, for se. So this is, I think, a really good way to go. What is the end goal? My end goal for this challenge and for you too is in 15 days, I want to be able to have an eye talking conversation with a Spanish native tutor or even one of you guys, if you leave comments below, if you speak Spanish, we can have like a Zoom talk or something like that. And I just want to communicate 15, 20 minutes in just pure Spanish. So my goal is to get to that point where I can have that basic conversation in Spanish. Which brings me to the problem with learning languages. I have a real hard time learning languages in regards to just focusing. And when I learned Japanese, when I learned Vietnamese, I learned by immersion. I was in the culture or I was just in the country. So this is definitely going to be a lot different where I live. Th there are Spanish people around here, obviously, but I don't think running around yelling a lot everybody is a good way to go. And with that being said, this is my challenge. This is two weeks, August 2nd, starting this coming Monday. Let me know if you guys are with me below. Let me know what material you're going to use for this. Again, we want to pick material that's going to help with the speaking and listening the reading, and then obviously vocabulary. And if you see the other videos, my final end goal is to be in South America here probably by sometime next year. I'm not sure on what city just yet, but I have some ideas. But to be in South America, we should probably be speaking some Spanish, right? That is my goal. I've already invested the money on the tools that I need to do this. So let me know in the comments if you're with me on this challenge. And also let me know in the comments what materials you're using. You don't have to use what I'm using. I mean, what I'm using might not even work for me. But this is just the way I'm going from how I've learned other languages and what I felt was the best way. So let me know in the comments below what you would suggest if you were doing this challenge or if you are doing this challenge. It doesn't have to be Spanish. You can pick any language. Either way, I think this cuts for the video today. So again, let me know in the comments below. It doesn't matter if you're in America, Vietnam, China, Japan, South America, anywhere you are. Pick a language. Let let us know what your three tools are that you're going to be using to learn this language the next two weeks and i hope you guys enjoy these next uh 15 videos 14 videos or so go to hit that subscribe smash that like button add the playlist to your watch list so you can get the updated videos i'm going to be doing daily until then guys i will see you again got very personal with and i kind of shared a more unique side instead of just trying to be someone who's travel blogging about, oh, well, here I am, here I am, here. 
Um, so I'm glad that I got such a good and strong response as far as support from a community because I never really wanted to do something that just feels cookie cut or feels like you can find this just about anywhere else and that takes away from how reality can really be.